Eric Kamadeka Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Joined now with Eric Kamadeka, head coach of the, well, we'll talk about outdoor track and field now. You guys go over to Goucher, kind of sort of, if you can call it a home meet, you know, you guys aren't too far away, and have a really strong performance winning on both the men and the women's sides. Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, you know, it's my alma mater to go back there and being able to win on both the men's and women's side of my alma mater is pretty awesome. So I told the guys and the women I was really proud of them. Um, but really, this weekend was was all about the women. I mean, they had a really solid performance across the board, being able to win, to beat a team that won a national championship just a year ago. Yeah, and have strong individual performances, as well as the team performance, I imagine, is was a point of emphasis. Now, this week, you guys will be going up to Widener and have a stronger emphasis on the individuals. Yeah, so this past weekend, I told them going in, you know, it's going to be almost like a workout. A lot of people doing multiple events, which we typically don't do. Uh, but with it being the first season meet, we did that. And now this weekend, going into Widener, we're really going to focus on individual events, uh, not worried about team score. The meet's not even scored this weekend, mm -hmm. which is nice. And another nice thing is, I mean, some of the guys are and girls are still resting. One is Devontae Williams. But still on the women's side in the outdoor, Danica is still having a, a heck of a season. Yeah, Danica carried through, um, qualified for ECACs in the shot put, ended up winning the meet. Uh, Jess Riga had a really great throw in the shot put. And then Lauren Diosi is uh, someone who was really a standout. I mean, she qualified for ECACs. Um, and then we had Kira Noel, who qualified for ECACs, actually pr from her high school discus throw in t by 12 feet. And this is the first time she's thrown in the collegiate meet the discus. So that was exciting. Uh, as you talk about these you know, qualifications, the ECACs already, a little early to talk about the NCAAs, but as you move into Widener, I imagine that's also going to be, you know, a point of emphasis and a goal is to continue the qualifications. Yeah, you know, this weekend we're going to really focus, like I said, on individual events. We're going to try to either up those performances or lower our times, regardless of what the event is. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. You know, the men's 4 by 2 team hit the goal of what we wanted to do this past weekend. Mm -hmm. um, now, you know, we're going to change some things up with them on the women's side as well, try to run some faster times, get those performances out there. This Friday night's going to be a nice opportunity for the distance team to get out there in some probably ideal conditions and put down a good 5K and 10K as well. And this meet that is coming up, you mentioned you know competing on a Friday, and then you guys are going to follow it up on Saturday. Of course, they're different athletes competing in these, but what does that do in getting you ready for multiple day events like the MAC Outdoors and the ECACs and NCAs. Yeah, this is nice. We like these multiple day events, especially for the distance team now because there's not many opportunities for them to do back to back. And outdoor, like you said, outdoor championships are grueling. It's a three day contest and to be able to come back and some of these athletes will have to compete three days. It's tough. Mm -hmm. You know, they're typically used to just doing one event, two events, one weekend and, th and that's it. Mm -hmm. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck and thank you for your time this week and safe travels up to Widener. Great, thank you. He's Eric Kamadeka. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Eric Kamadeka Show.